Hi, my name is Willix, and this is episode 4 of Age of Engineering. This episode we're going to do the Calculation Age. However, I had planned to do a different episode completely. I was going to go out and get some night slime, uh, because I wanted to use it to make a hammer. But that whole episode didn't work out, because after I made the hammer, I decided I didn't like the results. And uh, I had technical difficulties in it. I would have had to redo the whole episode anyways. So what was the problem with Night Slime? Well, when you make I wanted the hammer head out of Night Slime because it was fairly fast and it mined everything, etc., etc. But when you put it on a head, you get crumbling instead of unnatural. Crumbling means if the material does not require a tool, it multiplies the speed by speed times 0.5. So, in other words, it's going to go through dirt pretty quick. However, with a hammer, you only do one block of dirt at a time, so it's kind of useless to make the head out of uh, night slime. What I was really looking for was a natural, which is a 36% bonus mining speed for every harvest level the tool is above the block you were breaking. So, it would make a good plate, because then you go through cobble like it was nothing. However, I decided the correct way to make a hammer would have been iron for the magnetic and uh, copper for the other plate, so those were the two plates, uh, cobalt for the head which is faster than night slime anyways, and uh, ardite for the handle to get some repair in it. And put an a width expander on it as well. For that you actually need some purple slime, but it wasn't worth showing a whole episode to get a little bit of it. The only other interesting thing I did while I was in that episode, but it just didn't justify 30 minutes, was I made myself some slime boots. Um, you make steel boots first, then you use some congealed slime, whatever type, and a slime ball. Slime ball you can get from rice, but the congealed slime blocks, if you put four rice slime balls together you get something called a slime block not a congealed slime box so it doesn't work in this recipe so that would uh, stop me from getting fall damage and a slime sling would have me uh, f um, when you point it at the ground it makes you jump a long way back and I had myself jumping from one island in the air to another island so a long jump with style. But still, not enough for an episode. So uh, let's get on to this one. Oh, I'm pointing at this just in case I forgot. Uh, I put my aluminum brass in there so I can make my plates much easier than making it in the smeltery each time. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is make myself some power. Uh, I only need one of these for now, but I'll need three later. Put one of these in here, and I get a survivalist generator. There is another option, um, a hand crank generator, but it, it takes steel as well, so it's just not, I'm not even going to bother showing it to you. Uh, I might as well make something that I don't have to crank. And let's put this here. Oh, and let's put some fuel in it. To show you how efficient this thing is, I'm going to put one oak sapling in there, and it's going to get half full, 5,000 RF from just one oak sapling. So while that only puts out 5 RF per tick, um, it's very good on fuel efficiency. So let's make ourselves a power cube next. So we make, t uh, coal dust is just coal in a macerator. So we make, and that's flint in the middle. So we'll make two coal balls. And we'll run over here and we'll stick them in our compressor. Notice that they have lots of uh, stuff ready to go in there. So it doesn't matter that I'm pulling this out. And, oh, notice that I have plenty of slag now to make myself a, um, a better um, blast furnace from uh, immersive engineering. However, I still have to get the blaze powder to do it, so I need to make some sort of a, either I've got to farm blazes for a while or make myself a uh, blaze uh, 
um, mob farm. So for another episode. Put those in there and we get ourselves a power cube that's just cobble and a redstone block. Come over here, we'll toss this down. Yeah, it's finished. So it's got its 5,000 in there now. I'm going to move this because I don't want it to be uh, continue feeding this block. This block is not the advanced power cube. You cannot use it to power other things. You can just put calculators or whatever in to power them up inside it. Um, the advanced power cube that you might have seen in other people's playthroughs in this pack has been disabled now. You can't make it. Okay, and we're going to use one tiny uh, coal, or charcoal actually, and that's going to fill this. I didn't want to use anything bigger or I'd be wasting it if I don't get back there in time. Okay, on to making the calculator. So I'm going to be making two calculators eventually, so I'll make two of these screens. And I need one of these steel things here to make a calculator. Well, actually, we'll do them all right now. I'm eventually going to need three of these. And I'm going to put one of those there, one of those there, and I got my calculator and a trophy. So we come back over here with our uh, cube that's already set up. And we put our calculator in. And that's going to suck up 1,000 of that 5,000 RF that I stuck in there. You don't have to fill it up to use it, but uh, might as well. Okay, so now to make ourselves a scientific calculator. We're going to need some enriched gold as one of the things. Enriched gold is that, which is made by gold plus redstone. So I'm going to need gold and actually, I'm saving that redstone for something else later, so I don't want to use it. Gold and redstone gives me four enriched gold. And we'll stick that in here. The other thing we're going to need to make that scientific calculator is in four reinforced stone. So I'm going to need some cobble and either planks or wood. Wood makes four, but I only need two, so I don't want to have to store extras. Where are we here? So I need two cobble, two planks. Let's sort that. There we go. If you point down at the ground, this thing doesn't seem to work. Got a point level. Don't know why that is. So we've got those two things. Where was I? And those. Reinforced. It looks like we're there. I should have done it in this. There, my craft crafting table on a stick, as suggested to me by Brad Manis. So now we have ourselves a scientific calculator as well. Why did I want that scientific calculator? Why was I so excited about that? Well, a couple of reasons. Um, well, actually, for the next step. Next step, we're going to be making an atomic reconstructor. Looks simple enough. Iron, redstone, and an iron casing. But our iron casing, well, that's a little more interesting. Uh, burnt quartz, uh, you've got to cook the uh, quartz you get to get burnt quartz that you mine. But here's where it gets more interesting. We're going to need a basic machine casing, which is iron plates. So, oh, actually, let's do this part first. Uh, raw carbon fiber, which is, again, coal dust. So I'm going to get two more of those. 
already got two over here and I'm going to get two carbon mesh and I take the carbon mesh and I'm going to put it in here again and then we're going to take and make uh, our basic machine casing oh that was just uh, iron plates all the way around I should have pointed that out and this guy hopefully is finished yes and next up we're going to make our mixed metal ingot that's iron plates bronze plates and tin plates actually I should have grabbed that before I went back over here and again we'll stick it in this and we'll give it half a sec so after we do that because that makes our advanced uh, alloys we have our carbon plates our advanced alloys we need steel plates and our basic machine casing there we go Okay, we come over here, we stick that in here with our black quartz and iron, get our iron casing, bring that over here, stick the iron casing in there, and we get our atomic reconstructor. Okay, so now when I put this down beside the power, I'm going to very quickly click it with that uh, torch to stop it from pulsing too many times because each time it pulses it's going to eat up a thousand of this so whoops oh that's pointed the wrong way too Uh, right click to toggle there okay so it says it's sort of in reverse pulse means if you right click it'll go to pulse if you right click it so it says disable that means it's pulsing and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a block uh, button on there so it'll only fire us a pulse when I uh, tell it to and now, because it's attached to this, whoops, see this has 7,000 RF. I fired off three pulses already. Now I can put a charcoal in there because it's all going to be going over to this and that can hold lots. Okay, so what are we going to do with this thing? Well, I'm going to take and I'm going to place down a bunch of stuff. Now the way this works is each one of the each iron is maybe 80 RF. Uh, I'm not sure what the redstone is, so, so somewhere around there. But the pulse itself is a thousand, so I might as well do a whole bunch at once when I do it. I hope I got enough power in here. Ten thousand might. Okay, so. I'm going to stick down two stacks of redstone, two stacks of iron, and then I'm going to hit my button. And we sucked up all the power and didn't get all this made. So what? how much did we do? Didn't quite get all the iron, but okay, we got a fair bit of it. We needed more power. I should have waited just a few more seconds and I would have been there. But good enough. I've got enough for now. So what can we do with all that stuff? Well, next episode, we're going to be automating out our um, wood choppers. And to do that, what we needed was, we're using stone, right? Stone upgrades. 
What an upgrade. We need these red stonia crystals. Uh, to go in, we need one to go into each one of these. So what we're talking about there is uh, I need I, if I haven't tested this yet. If I'm correct, when we do the stone upgrades, we're going to need uh, each one upgrades it by four. It does one now. So if I want to do about 24 spots, I need to do six upgrades for each one of them. So it's going to use six of those little uh, red things each time uh, for each of them. That actually gets you, a, it's kind of odd. It doesn't fit exactly, but I'm going to be doing five by fives regardless. It would have been one extra because it doesn't count the block it's on or the default one. So you actually end up with the sort of one above the 26. Okay, well I guess that does it for this episode. We covered off uh, the basics on the Atomic Age. Or, no, the Calculator Age. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope go out there and have some fun. See you next time. Thanks. <laughs>